show starts in five minutes. starts in four minutes. Click, then say, Go Ronald! Why do I have to click? Go Ronald! Settings! Go Ronald! Go Ronald! Go Ronald! Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Wh where do I click? Settings. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. I'm clicking a lot. Go Ronald, go Ronald. Show starts in three minutes. Get yourself ready for a trip through McDonald's land. Take along a friend and grab a hold of Ronald's hand. Show starts in two minutes. Show starts in one minute. This is soap. You can wash your face with it. This is cleansing cream. You can cleanse your face with it. This is Bactine medicated skin cream. It is a new thing. It is a washing cream. You oh, wash your face wow. with it. Uh-oh. Catch him. Oh. I wish... Mrs. Porter, I've got the next best thing. A new invention from Procter & Gamble. It absorbs... Like magic, it's made a unique new way from a special formula of six ingredients spun into a wonderful new towel. Sort of feels different too, doesn't it? Go ahead, pop it. Hurry, get new bounty. It absorbs like magic. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat. Hello. Is this thing on? Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Let me get some music going. How's it going, guys? Alosin7, thank you for these six months. Good morning, Ian, and chat from Seoul. Thank you so much. Good morning. It's about uh, 422 for me. I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah. I'm like tired, man. I'm so tired. Uh, Spooner McGavin, thank you for the 11 months. Catching moose on my drive home and picking up Domino's. Great way to start the weekend. What you getting at Domino's? Only play SpongeBob. We're, we may play. We may play some SpongeBob. I think we're gonna play a few other things. I have a feeling we're gonna squirt a little bit. Oh wow! Coming off a four-hour nap. I don't think I could nap for four hours. That's a long. It's a long nap. Where's my jazz? I I requested jazz. Give me one second here. Where's my jazz? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll just do it one at a time. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. So today we're going to be going through and playing a little bit more of our favorites um, from Bingo XP, along with hopefully at least one game that didn't work. Yes, this is uh, this is Bingo Le Leftovers. We did complete the first season last stream, and I have a feeling the next season will probably start not next Monday, but the following Monday. Because uh, someone said Lost was only like six hours, so I feel like I should be able to get through it by Wednesday, right? Yes, uh, we're going to try out... The first thing we're going to try is the, the Playmobil game that didn't work. 8-Bit uh, Kitty Cat worked on a, uh, a custom launcher. I don't know if it's... Uh, if I need the disc, I'm still going to put the disc in. But I'm ex I'm interested to try that one. It was a uh, a bit of a short season, shorter than I wanted for sure. Uh, but also, I was doing much longer uh, sessions. We were doing like six, seven hour sessions instead of three, four hour sessions. But also, I did just get uh, real lucky, so. And it felt lucky, too. Uh, Ple uh, Plebeian Goth, thank you for the six months. Hey, six months in all. I love throwing my money at the funny man who plays good games and sometimes the VHS tapes. Happy Friday. Who's that? Who's the funny man? How long would I consider an optimal bingo length? I don't know. You know, I did get... Uh, I got disappointed that it wrapped uh, on day two. I, I envisioned it going farther but I shouldn't have gotten uh, I shouldn't have gotten upset about it because the whole point I forgot that the whole point of setting it up this way was that it's easy to jump back into another season I'm already set up I've, I've refreshed the board we've got brand new cards ready to go I just have to fill in the binder uh, with some fresh XP games and we'll be ready to go uh, for another round I was really, I was really disappointed that I didn't, we didn't give, uh, we didn't do any of the special prizes, but we're just gonna have to try harder next time. Shanks for 366, thank you for the 64 months. Happy Friday, woo! Let's try the... Distracted by chat, being a bunch of idiots. I don't, I don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think I was being razzed. 
-hmm. And uh, ideally, I, I would have chilled about it. I'm not good when uh, I'm not good when things don't go as I plan. I get upset. <laughs> Insult your audience live on camera. I will. I came off bad in the VOD. I, I have been getting a lot of supportive messages on the last VOD, so I must have seemed uh, fairly disappointed. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Um, next, next season, I will be prepared for an early bingo. I won't be so distraught. Just you know, you put in, you put in all that effort. I wanted to, I wanted to do all the fun things all at once, but they're not going anywhere. Okay, let's see. Oh, hey! Bingo is very emotional. It's true. Uh, I'm not. I'm not backing this up at all. Fuck that. Evan G Man, thank you for the six months. Can't wait to watch the bingo vods. Thanks for the great content. Therese Tenny, thank you for the ten months. Oh yeah, I do have. Uh, I do have some fan mail. Wow. Is next season a whole different seventy-five games or the ones we didn't get to play? Uh, so I'm gonna look through the binder because I know we had some. Like we had some Windows 95 games sneak in to the uh, the binder, so I'm gonna go through and check. Any hate mail? I don't know. I'll have to open it to see. <laughs> I'll have to open it to see. Uh, even if it doesn't work exactly as it did, uh, I appreciate the effort, Cat. What up, Shake Bakey? Do haters ever send you mail? Not, I don't think so. Not, I haven't gotten any hate mail, no. Orbit Dragoon. Orbit Dragon. Sorry. Thank you for the 26 months. I'm sick in bed and I'm so happy I'm catching your stream to lift my spirits. I hope you get better soon. Orbit Dragon. <laughs> that, that could happen, Lupin. It could happen. Uh, I think everyone was just having a good, having a good time, or trying to. I was. I should have been trying harder to have a good time. <laughs> uh, Annie Hoovian, thank you for the six months. I wasn't here for the SpongeBob game, but I have fond memories of it. Played it a ton as a kid. If we do more SpongeBob, I want to see if I can figure out. What's with, like, the graphics? Uh, the weird transparency that was going on? Arise Sunday, thank you for the 27 months. Emmy Lightning, thank you for the 17 months. Yo, Ian, just got a new job, so celebrating with a resub. Can't wait to bingo with you. Congratulations on the new job, Emmy. We won't be bingoing today. We're, we'll be leftoversing today. And uh, Julie Pools, thank you very much for the 10 months. Thank you, thank you. So, um, Monday, we will start Lost. Lost uh, via Damas. And I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys have been doing well. clips happening on Monday? I've seen like little sprinkles of uh, commentary about the eclipse. I'm not paying super attention. What if we're already lost? Well, maybe we'll find you. Uh, Masamo, thank you for the 10 months. 10 months, woo! Congrats on your bingo win, Moose. Thank you very much. It's not going to be visible from the Pacific Northwest. Well, I'd have to go outside to see it anyway. I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> I got uh, I got shit to work on. Here's the uh, here's our cards, by the way. Our bingo cards. They're fixed to the board with Velcro. So that's a fun little bingo fact. Let's uh. Let's see what Laura has for us, huh? Let me, well, let me stop the music. Uh, you guys take pictures of the uh, eclipse for me, all right? I'll be interested to see. Is it a solar eclipse? Is it a lunar eclipse? Is the 
is this which one's going to be in front of what what was my favorite xp game this season see solar i don't know i don't know if the moon does that mean does that mean the moon goes in front of sun moon in front of sun gotcha gotcha well i'll be uh someone <laughs> explain it in terms of mario party 6 I'll be, I won't be looking for that, but I will be reading about it, I'm sure. I'm trying to think of what my favorite game, I, Barnyard is a really good one. Uh, I thought NFL Reading was pretty good. Tetris Worlds would have been way better if the controls weren't so touchy. SpongeBob seemed like something we probably got to get through all of at some point. License to Croak wasn't bad. Stuart Little 2 might have been the best. The best one, though. I did save the Howie art. I need to uh, I need to update it before it uh, goes on a shirt or anything. But I do have the Howie art. Uh, I have no ETA on that though because I'm uh, I got a lot of things a lot of things going on. So I'm not making any promises except that we'll start Lost on Monday, and that's only like a ninety percent. I mean, assuming <laughs> nothing pops up, uh, but I think it should be fine. And I want to see what happens. I want to see the, uh... oh, it's this one here. The return of no promises, Ian. Brutal BF laugh at the Howie surprise. Brutal BF was very excited that we played Howie, yeah. Okay, here we go. Laura's happy adventures. We don't have to play all of this. We should give it at least like 15, right? Since we, we didn't get to do it during bingo. Oh, shit, sorry. Avert thine eyes. Okay, you can uh, you can revert your eyes now. Uh, it's loading. I'm <laughs> looking harder. <laughs> Don't look into the flashing screens, okay? Hello. Hello. Hello? Might have to run the config program in the game folder. Okay, I can do that. Once I find it. We're saying game folder is in like the C, it's C folder? Gonna, what are you going to be writing, Snooze? How's my Friday going? My Friday's going all right. Uh, as my Fridays have gone for the past year or so, uh, I did book club. I read an Animorphs book and did book club. And now I am here. Let's see, where does this... Uh, what, did you guys, what have you guys done today? Anything exciting? C games update Stardew Valley. That was the book of the week. The book of the week was pretty good. It was pretty good actually. I'd give that I'd give it a pass. Or like a, a passing grade. Okay, this one. What do I want to change? What number are we on? Uh, we just finished number 50. And we've read almost all the... We've read, like, all the spinoffs now. Except for the Choose Your Own Adventure, I think. Should I change loading to this one? Location. It's on... I've got the CD in there. So are the preschoolers supposed to figure out how to get this to run? Is that part of the, like, is that part of uh, <laughs> the learning aspect? 
I, I will be playing the Animorphs games after we finish the books. So we're going to do... Hold on. Maybe I should change the compatibility compatibility mode, maybe? Oh, wow. So we're going to play a little bit of the, the uh, Game Boy one. It doesn't look super good. But uh, I also want to play Know the Secret again. Let's try this. Come on, Ubisoft. This might be the whole stream. I'm fine with it. I need, I honestly, I need something chill. So if we just, <laughs> if we just do this all, uh, all day, I'm fine with it. Uh, but also, I have no idea what. I have no idea what. Uh... Ninety-eight, maybe. Is Laura? I don't know. I haven't been able to play her game. Do I want mip mapping on or off? These inserts. It isn't inserted. Right? Uh, yes, the tick cartoon. You are still eligible to join the Discord as long as you are a subscriber. Oh, wait, something's happening. Hold on, something's happening. Right? This is... It, it does look a little broken. She's waving, though. She looks... It's so inviting. Get me out of here. I mean, if this doesn't work, we might just have to go squirt at the barnyard. That was going to work that time. Um, I mean, if I still can't get it to work, I might just have to get the... Uh, the 98 machine going again. Give it a minute. I'll wait for a second. Sydney is foul. Thank you very much for the nine months. Thank you, Jarvis. I appreciate it. I need a computer array. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Well, let's just, let's start thinking, where do we want to go if Laura does not work? All the retro machines hooked up at once? I mean, that would be awesome. I don't know how I would get that to work uh, with my computer, but I'll think about it. I'll think, you know what? I'll remember it. I will think about how, how I could swap... Because it's not just swapping the visual, right? So I gotta swap the visual output and the audio output and like the inputs. So it's more than, it's gonna take some finagling. Okay, no, I don't think Laura's gonna work. I need a KVM switch. So is it like a box you put video, audio, input into, and then you're just like... Interesting. KVM switch. Hold on, let me... Hold on. KVM switch. Mm. Do 
they make them that aren't HDMI? K KVM switch, old computer. I'll do some digging. I'll do some digging. Worst case scenario, I just duplicate my upscaling uh, process. Uh, but we'll save Laura for the 98. Apologies to any Laura fans. Were I smarter, I could probably get it going. Uh, you guys want to go barnyard? Where you what do you where, where you want to go? Laura's postponed adventure. Little Green Witch, thank you for the 33 months. Uh, let me see your Zoom beanies, SpongeBob. Here, I'll start. A, I'll do a little poll. Barnyard Muppet SpongeBob. Barnyard Muppet SpongeBob. Toontown. Is there anything to do in Toontown? Barnyard Muppet. What was the other one? SpongeBob. Tinkerbell. Uh, no Disney artists. I don't feel like drawing right now. And then Toon One. That's enough. That's enough choices. Where are we going? I can't stop thinking about Miss Piggy. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's. You know, that's interesting. <laughs> Miss Piggy is your idol. Ooh. I'm I'm actually pretty interested to see SpongeBob so high. I'll let the vote keep going, but I'll see if I can't fuck around with any graphics options. SpongeBob was pretty good. Do we get configuration options? Let's see here. You want a more Tinkerbell? You know, Tinkerbell at least seemed interesting. Maybe there's uh maybe there was more to Oh man, we we could have done more Team Turbo. resolution might change, so prepare your eyeballs. No, it's fine. Tinkerbell was cool. I didn't really... They talked a little too much. But it, it ended up being a lot cooler than I thought it would be. Uh... I did not get to read this message. Little Green Witch, thank you for the 33 months. Uh, glad to watch Bingo. Looking forward to the new season. Say hi to MJ. No. Say hi to MJ for me. And happy Friday, everyone. Thank you so much, Little okay, Green Witch. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, wait. Don't you want to see my... <gasps> we got a lot of... Yeah, we got a lot of THQ <clears throat> stuff last time. Can I load? Or... Okay. I didn't save? Oh my god. Okay, what if I turn 3D shadows off? Is that gonna change anything? No, it still looks fucked up. What? How do I fix that? <laughs> I thought I did too, but uh, you know, a lot of things were going on. Driver issue. I bet. Okay. Uh, what we gotta do? We gotta do. Looks fine to you. Well, his shoes are—he's transparent. 
uh, is the problem. Otherwise, it looks fine. Okay, wash plate. Yeah, I agree. The 2D environments with the 3D models are super weird, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It's it, it it's odd. It's odd in a way that I kind of like. Yeah, he is kind of walking on his ankles a little bit. His his eyelid or his irises are transparent because he he's got it's like X-ray vision. A Krabby Patty. Okay, so a Fixins. Krabby Patty. A Krabby Patty. Obtained. Here you go, sir. Yeah. Uh, there's. Oh yeah, this this won't take too long. Another purple sea urchin. So this is Talk to Patrick. Hey, Patrick, where'd you get that sweet Direct hat? X. I won first place in the annual bikini bottom bikini. Well, hold on. If that's if that's the case, hold on. Hold on. Let's save. I still don't know if I should be installing all these uh, direct X's, but it's like, you know, why not? Oh, wow. Maybe that fixed everything. <laughs> Maybe that fixed everything. I mean, it, the screenshot looks right. He does not, his, he does not look right. If it doesn't work, it's Chaka's suggestion. How could you? Well, Chaka only knows Sims. <laughs> That's okay, he's... Hi. He's just lost a couple pounds is all. It just, it just happens... Just so happens that all the weight was in his feet. He just chopped the feet off. Okay. Goo the goon. Wow. Yeah, I have a bunch of different versions of DirectX installed because a bunch of different games require different versions. Hello. Hi, Larry. Blah 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 Not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, here's a story recap. For those that missed in bingo, we're, we're speeding through what we did in bingo real quick. Uh, SpongeBob wins a trip to uh, some place for work. He's got tickets to some place, and, and we're trying to get there. Right now, we're trying to get on the bus. Money, 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 money. Ah, money. our dear friend Mr. Krabs makes his way to the local mm. bargain mart <coughs> to make a little extra money on the side. Did we see he that last time? He's such money, a money, god. Money, he money, makes money. me laugh so. Ha <laughs> ha. I remember that. Thank you, Corn Fed. I, I think it was a pretty good recap. Nimbus 666. Thank you for the 37 months. Holy shit, I remember playing this game as a kid. A cameraman. Thank you for the nine months. Blah, blah, sub baby. Blah, blah. And Super Ka Kalia. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Nothing in here. Nothing. I didn't realize I could do shit like this. Grandma sure likes plants. And we're off. And we're off. 
Yes, this this is the game that has naked Mr. Krabs. We're actually gonna go visit him right now. So get ready. Well, don't get don't get ready. If you have to get ready to visit naked Mr. Krabs, I don't want you getting ready. Um Mr. Magics. Thank you for the prime sub. Hey there, Mr. Krabs! Hello there, me boy! I mean, I can't look away from the eyeballs. Like, they're hollow. <laughs> money, money, money. What are you? Oh, uh, no, we squirt in a different game. No, Well, I'm not going to say there's no squirting in this game. But, uh... Not that I've seen so far. Hi! Welcome to the... the uh, uh, hey! Yeah, it has, it has rubbing. Yeah. I'm ready. And it has this great sound effect. This is the sound of my chat when they see naked Mr. Krabs. The amazing Mr. Absorbency. <laughs> this is a kid's game. <laughs> I don't know. Is are we sure it's a kids game? Are we sure? Hi. Welcome to the barge and mart. All done. She's all sparkly and clean. Great. You're okay. Okay, now I get what am I getting? I'm getting some type of seeds. Urchin chips now with less dirt. Seaweed bars. Chucky worms. I don't, Chucky worms. I don't even wanna know. Chucky worms. I don't even wanna know. What's with this? You guys hear the squeaking in the left ear? Chucky worms. I don't even wanna know. Strange. Seahorse radish. Oh. I've had that before. They they all make. Buttered barnacles. I like them with a little syrup. Ah, fish paste everywhere. Ooh, heals five to ten hit points. I wish they made a blue potion of social acceptance to go with it. What are you, what are you trying to say, SpongeBob? Uh, okay. We gotta go get. Uh, we gotta go get Grandma's pie. We're already almost caught up. Hi, Grandma. I'm back. See? I got that. <laughs> okay, got the pie. Got to put these guys on the pie. Mm -mm. And we're out. His voice is nails on a chalkboard. SpongeBob's? Yes. <laughs> I never mind I never minded SpongeBob's voice. His laugh His laugh I could uh yeah, I could take or leave. That's why I wasn't allowed to watch it as a kid if your mom was home. Just the voice? Surprisingly, I was allowed to watch Spongebob. Was, that was a permitted show. Why is Mr. Krabs naked? Well, he sold his clothes to somebody. Uh, muscle mass never ends, little guy. I don't know. He sold his clothes to somebody. I don't think it was ever really explained why he's being weird. For money? He seems like more money-ish. He's, he's like in a money frenzy in this game. Nothing like Grandma's homemade pie. Still warm from the oven. I'm on a diet. I can't eat that. Um, okay, let me have it. Look 
Look at what you've done to me! I've got love handles! I can't talk to you, I've got to take a jog down the beach. SpongeBob's little dance when he does something correct is... A, a, it's a little haunting uh, when I can see like right through him. Ah, uh, could be a life dog. Okay, we got the bucket. <laughs> Do people really work out on the beach? That I don't know. I haven't been to a beach in quite some time. I was never a huge fan of the beach. Hi. Hey, this isn't a tanning salon. It's a beach. Um, he wants something. I don't remember. Hi. Right back at you. Wow, you sure are. Yes. Can I borrow oh, you? He wants oil. He wants oil. Okay. I don't know. I don't think we found a use for the bucket and pail just yet. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the crusty crab. I think this is about where we got. I might have been heading to the Krusty Krab to get oil when the time ran out. I'm not, I don't totally remember. Oh, it could be at the Bargain Mart, actually. Thanks, Hateful Pudding. Uh, as I said at the, the top of the stream, uh, we should be getting into more bingo in, uh, not, not next week, but the week after. Next week, we will get through... Um, we will play Lost. I always forget the title. Lost via Damas. Punk Rock Tim, are you Googling these? Or do you just have a plethora of SpongeBob puns just at the ready? And it's your time to shine. Okay, no. Can snacks! For when I get hungry on the job. <laughs> What's the plot of this game? We're trying to go to... We're trying to go... Oh, my God. This is my chat after looking at the Sandy pinup. Uh, we're trying to go to some... I don't know what it is. We, w we won tickets to a place, and I'm trying to get to that place. It's probably like a carnival or something. Barnyard <laughs> reference. <laughs> uh, but right now we're trying to get on the bus. We need bus tokens. I don't really know how getting cooking oil is going to get me a bus token, but I'm assuming it'll all uh, work out. Nep Neptune's Paradise. I think that's what it was, yeah. Fire next to the stove. I'll check that if I can't find it in here. Fresh sludge pudding. Free samples. Jeez, what a wonderful world. <laughs> that said volcano pants? Box o' food. Not Kelpo. <laughs> Jellyfish, fish jelly. I'm looking for oil. Kelp. Okay. It, it might have been in that fryer. Uh, wait a minute. What is? Wait a minute. What's this? This looks like something I can click on. It looks 3D. Mr. Krabs, can I borrow this old ah. cooking oil? Ah! Pearl convinced me to switch to some new low-fat oil type substance. You spray it on. Now, who would have thought of that? Progress. Trans Train Girl. Thank you very much for the 15 months. My partner is showing me Yu Yu Hakusho for the first time. Ooh, lucky you. We're almost done with a dark tournament arc. Loving it so far. Her favorite is Kurama. And mine might be too. Still TBD. Well, Kurama is obviously the best choice. But you can like other 
characters. That's fine. I love the Dark Tournament arc. I think the arc after might be my favorite, though. Oh, Kuwabara is so good. Yusuke, also great choice. Honestly, the, the main crew... I don't think there's a character I dislike on that show. Yeah, Chapter Black, I think... I think could be my favorite arc. It's... it's it's just a little more interesting than the, the tournament. The tournament was like... It was good. It was good for the Tagoro of it all, but it does sometimes feel like it takes a little while uh, to get through. What's Yu Yu Hakusho about? Uh, how to answer that? Uh... I'll let someone else type that out. How do you how do you sum up Yu Yu Hakusho in a brief sentence? He's a spirit detective, so he wow, he uh, is I on call sure uh, by the spirit world to solve situations. Uh, he's constantly going between. I guess he doesn't go to the the demon world too often, but the big one of the big overarching. Uh, Ideas is that the the demon the demon world there's a barrier and the barrier is well I don't want to talk too much I just someone just said that they were only at the uh, turn dark tournament art I don't I don't want to go too far it's very good though uh, very very good like Bleach but Mob Psycho sure I haven't seen either, either of those <laughs> uh, but yeah yeah Punk Rock Tim thank you so much for gifting that sub thank you thank you. <sighs> it's like One Piece, but way faster, and replace the pirates with demons. Where do you watch it? I, it was on Hulu. I have I have the Blu-rays. <clears throat> I also have uh, I swear, a VHS innocent. set of the. Anything. You can't prove that. I was only saying hi. Oh well, I'm busy. Busy doing nothing. That is. <clears throat> okay, have fun. It's on Netflix. Okay. I don't know if it's... I don't have Hulu anymore. Wow, pretty lady. SpongeBob. Chill. Wow, <clears throat> pretty lady. Wow, pretty lady. At least don't do it like two feet away from her, you know? Do I like Raisin Bran? Yeah. <laughs> Raisin Bran's great. Why would I want to put that there? She looks unconscious. Netflix did just do a live action Yu Yu show. I, I would watch that if it got dubbed with the anime uh, voices. I'm, I'm a, too attached to the voice vocal cast. Mm, all right, dude. This is going to be great. Soon I'll be nice and flaky. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you're pretty flaky already. So, can I have the sunscreen now? Sure, kid. Here you go. Now leave me alone. I got some broiling to do. Wow, fish that cook themselves. What'll they think of next? Hulu seems to be a great streaming service. <clears throat> I just have, uh, I think I have Netflix that I'm accidentally paying for. I will, I shall cancel, but I just have Max. <clears throat> I should read Hunter x Hunter if I haven't. I gotta say, I don't, I don't like the character designs of Hunter x Hun Hunter. Are they like little children? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to watch shows about uh, little children. Unless it's Dance Moms. Snooze Cruise! Thank you for the $3 and change. Ah, pretty lady! Thank you so much, Snooze. Oh. So what was I what was I doing with the sunscreen? I know I have the sunscreen. Oh, does this lady it's want to see you again, the sunscreen? Oh, it's good to see you again, Governor. Governor. Oh my God, Dance Moms anime. Where did you say that buried treasure was again? From what I've been told, 
I suspect it's somewhere along this very beach. Well, I guess I should be going. <laughs> it was nice talking to you. A tally ho. Indeed. So I just I dig anywhere that, with the uh, a bucket. Hunter x Hunter, definitely not a kid's show. I'm not saying is it a show for kids. I'm saying is it a show about kids? It was like one of the one of the things I didn't like them about. Uh, was it Erased? Is that the one where they he goes back in time and he's a kid again? Uh, yeah, it's odd. It's odd, and they give away the <laughs> they give away the ending in the intro. That was what I hated the most about Erased. ever do decide to watch a race it was pretty good for what it was just don't pay too much attention they close your eyes during the intro cowboy bebop i know the intro to cowboy bebop like the wow, music but i don't know what it's I about found it. corn dogs i found it corn dogs mo chicken thank you for the three dollars and change hootie shot one thank you mo what anime would I recommend? Yu Yu Hakusho. Honestly. Oh well, I better take a few for later. If you've, oh my god, he did his little dance again. He looks odd at this angle too. He he's not even. He's coming apart at the seams here. Our attempting tasty French fries go with I already everything. I already. Uh, I was really put off on the anime when it was like popping, and I was a kid. But Death Note is so good that I have to say, if you have not watched Death Note, uh, I really think you should watch it. I wish there were more shows, more animes like Death Note, the supernatural mystery, drama, just everything about it I really, really liked. Yum, yum. Mo Chicken. Thank you for the $4 and change and the $2 and change. Hootie shot two, hootie shot three. Now I have a full snack bucket. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, oh, because of the different snacks you get from my alerts. <sighs> Code Gias is like Death Note. I don't know anything about that one. I don't even know if I pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Am I a dub or a sub person? It almost has to be a dub. I almost have to watch the dub. I can't. Here you go, my lady. There we go. This sunscreen is industrial strength. SPF I... 100. It's pronounced code gay ass. So gallant. Uh, I can't read and watch at the same time. Like, I just can't. I can't handle it. My brain can't handle it. You tickle my funny bone so. All right. Here's your mm, umbrella. Use it in good health. Yeah, that's how I feel, Hughes. Thank you, my lady. Oh, yeah, report back, Emmy. Anybody that checks checks out Death Note on my recommendation, uh, yeah, please report back. <sighs> Just learn Japanese. That Honestly, learning Japanese, I, I think, would be easier to me than being able to read subtitles. I, it's just... I can, only, I can only be so good at reading, unfortunately. Uh, Bite Finnick. Thank you for the $3 and change. Uh, Hootie Who Hunt continues. One day you'll find it, maybe. Not only focus on subtitles unless you really got it, yeah. <laughs> Need to play more NFL. <laughs> maybe that would help. Go with everything. Okay, so I don't know what the umbrella's for. I guess I'm maybe I'm gonna need it later. I got the bus token, so can I not just go? <laughs> I'm gonna save first. I'm trying to think of any other anime I would. I would agree. Or I would recommend. Oh my god. 
My brain is a little mush today. <laughs> uh, Ayla Rosebuds, thank you for the four dollars and change. I just want some fries, but I'll go for a hoodie if I can. Unfortunately, not. But thank you so much, Rosie. Okay, let's see if we can get on the in, on the bus. Here's a bus token, Patrick. Thanks, SpongeBob. Gee, I wonder where that bus driver is. Whoa, boy, I knew I shouldn't have eaten those burritos for breakfast. Is there a bathroom back there or what? Did he just take a shit behind mm -hmm. the house? What up, Marty? Hello, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Hi, kid. Where's the bus? It's getting washed. I'll get it when or if we ever leave. Where does the bus from here go? The bus goes to the ancient Mariner Valley, home to the magnificent Neptune's paradise, where happiness and merriment are the meat and potatoes of a festive diet of fun. Oh, yeah, a diet of fun. Can we get on board? We have our bus tokens. I'd love to say yes. Unfortunately, we aren't going anywhere in this weather. What are you talking about? It's a beautiful day. You'd like to believe that, wouldn't you? But look over there. That cloud is just waiting for me. What if we get caught out in the rain? I, I don't even have an umbrella. No thanks. I think I'll just stay here. Does it rain in SpongeBob? If I get you an umbrella, then will you take us? I guess so. I remember, I like, go. lightning and, and okay. Bye. clouds when the Flying Dutchman was involved. I'm trying to remember of a time when it was raining. <laughs> uh, the Moonlit Cryptid. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, it does rain when they hide a dead body. I'm gonna make all the money Ooh. now. He's gonna make all the money now. Okay. Oh yeah, the episode where he lost his identity did open him in a diner during the rain. Okay. <laughs> Ethereal Dova. Thank you so much for the $30. Much too generous. Thank you so much, Ethereal Dova. Happy XPN Day. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Ethereal Dova. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great XPN Day as well. <laughs> Here's an umbrella, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Can we leave now? The wind is picking up. Can't you smell the coming storm? I, I don't know if it's safe. Besides, that's a parasol. Oh, please! I just gotta get to the park. I just gotta... Is Patrick well, smashing the camera okay. against his eyeballs? But don't say I didn't warn you. Yahoo! Neptune's paradise, here we come! I have a bad feeling about this. I've never heard any of these. Elfin lied... <laughs> Rocka Braves? Group of heroes who get trapped and have to figure out who among them is a traitor. That sounds interesting. I have a today will be like no other day! Jeez! <laughs> wow! Great! No, I well, I, he's not transparent anymore. Whoops, uh, just a moment. This is, this is pretty good anime. <laughs> Want to hear the did we figure out if Plankton graduated college, or did he just go to college? But I didn't say anything yet. You don't need to. Ah! Oh, Silence, oh, you oh, ignorant oh, buffoons! Oh my god. Enough! Enough! Uh -uh. Get back up here in your seat and stop making so much noise. Oh my god. Did they just censor the bus driver? Did he just say, get the fuck back there? Tough guy. <laughs> Finally. Uh, looks like rain. Mm, I can barely see where I'm going. Uh, hold on, Whoa. everybody. It's a world. Oh. oh my God, no! 
no. We'll have to stay here until the storm blows over. Um, Patrick, this doesn't look like Neptune's paradise. Uh-oh. It's like watching the show, you know? It's almost exactly like watching the show. Hold on. arrived okay well we all love rock bottom the bus driver does not look concerned Hi, Marty. Do I have to say it? Do you have to say what? I told you so. 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 <laughs> Are you mad at me because of the storm? Yes, I didn't want to leave. I knew the storm was coming, but no. You and your childlike innocence, charming optimism. Feh. This guy, I'm warming up to the bus driver, actually. I'm sorry, Marty. I'll see what I can do to get this weather problem fixed. Yeah, well, whatever you do, leave me out of it. If the weather clears up, can we go? I, I can't make any promises. Why don't you check with the lady at the information company? He's got my new catchphrase. I can't make any promises. He's just like me. You watching TV? No, I'm knitting a sweater. Of course I'm watching TV. Chimps rolls. I'd sure like to be on that show one day. I, for one, have lots of faith in you. Okay, I gotta go. But don't worry, I'm gonna fix everything, and then we can get out of here. Forget it, SpongeBob. It's rock bottom. <laughs> this would be me. Uh, if I got trapped in rock bottom, I would just be sitting in the bus station loudly going, Ah! Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Can I help you, sir? Is this rock bottom? Yes, you are in rock bottom. My condolences. They're not the ing. When is the next bus scheduled to leave this place? All buses leaving rock bottom have been canceled due to inclement weather. We appreciate your patience. I can't but I need to get out of here. I'm going to Neptune's paradise. It doesn't look like it. Oh, tartar sauce. I'm new to rock bottom. Can you tell me anything about it? I'd be happy to tell you about all the little things our bug has to Where's offer. Where's the mouth? Right. They should have had her eyelid or You'd her be eyelids so be the mouth, like she's talking through what the eyeball. I delivery boy? I've been running errands all day. One kelp bar, please, and don't let it get mushy. Anybody else want anything? Please tell me now so I can get it all at once. Who are you talking to, weirdo? I've got to go. I have to find some way to get out of this place. You can check out any Yeah, he's mad. he's mad that he's doing fetch but quests, but it's like, dude, leave. you're going to you're going to be doing that all game. Uh discarded scarf. Thank you for the 2 months. And Emmy Lightning, thank you for the bits. I just want to share an anecdote. One time I got stuck in a Greyhound bus station for 7 hours after getting dumped on my birthday and it was just like rock bottom. Is this the sound you were making? Ah! Like that expression, maybe, too? <laughs> Chimps. Armed monkeys on motorcycles. I'm glad I live underwater. Ah! 
Chimps, armed monkeys on. One thousand percent. I'm glad I live underwater. Well, I'm sorry for your troubles, but at least now we all know that this is uh, accurate. So thank you for uh, clearing that up for us. I don't think I've ever been on a Greyhound bus. I don't think I've been on a... That's not true. I was going to say I haven't been on a public bus, but that's not true. Because I took the bus all the time in Seattle. I don't use public transportation currently. And there wasn't... Like, growing up, there wasn't any public transportation for me to use. Uh... We didn't have, like, school buses or anything either. So anytime I was on a bus, it was like a chartered bus for a, a, uh, like a school trip. I have to put a quarter in the slot. Well, if only we'd kept some of those coins. But when I moved up to Seattle and I was working downtown, I, uh... I, I used public transportation a lot. What is happening how did you not have school buses well we did not we just did we just didn't have them we didn't use them hi hi see you soft crisps what are you doing i'm waiting for the we all we, everybody just rode park. their horse to school oh, well i don't think and parked it at the school barn great wonderful fantastic Say, don't I know you? Uh, no. Definitely not. I've never seen you before in my life. You're pretty, um, distinctive looking. I think I'd remember you. Hmm. Oh well, you look familiar, but maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Yeah, that's probably a SpongeBob. Say, if you've never seen me before, how did you know my name? Er, um, you just, uh, you look like a SpongeBob, that's all. Quit badgering me. Okay, okay, sorry. He does kind of look like a SpongeBob. Uh, but yeah, I went to a private school, so that's probably, that's probably why. Nice can. Yep. Nope. Dude, you gotta Great stop. Stuff. And the cans are very keep those, aerodynamic. Keep those thoughts in the brain, SpongeBob. Can I have it? If I let you have this can, what would I do to pass the time waiting for the bus? You could talk to me. Look, no offense, little guy, but I'd rather watch paint dry. There's paint drying. Where? Where? I want to see. Oh boy. Nice can. What do you think about all this bad weather? You want to know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. I think it's voodoo. Voodoo? Yeah, I've heard legends of a powerful weather wizard named Marlin who lives in Rock Bottom. And he's obviously upset about something because look at all this rain. Wow, a weather wizard. Do you know where I could find him? Nope, nobody knows where he lives. I, for one, ain't sticking around to see what other kind of problems he stirs up. I'm getting out of here. Well, gotta run. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that bus. Okay. Let's... Save. Uh, so I gotta do something with a can. Let's walk down the road here. Slowly but surely. Go into the restroom of Mazza. Oh, I fell in. Oh my god, I did fall in. Well, at least I got the quarter. That's fucking gross, dude. <laughs> uh, public toilet by a gas station. Gotta be one of the worst uh, toilets to fall in. <laughs> to wash hands. I guess he's underwater, so his hands are always kind of getting washed. I have to washed. put a quarter in the slot. <laughs> I have to put a quarter... <laughs> Have to scrub the toilet. There's still time. Yeah. There's still time.
Do you guys have a favorite SpongeBob episode? I was always partial to uh, Idiot Box. It was always one of my favorites. Oh, Krusty Krab training video is a classic. Yeah. Here's your kelp bar, lady. Mmm, kelp. Fan geeks also great. All right, so what do you want to know? What's there to see here? Not much. There's a weather station, WSEA. My sister works there. They have daily tours. You might want to take one. Oh, the Krusty Krab Ooh, a weather pizza. Weather station, just what I need. Maybe they can tell me when this storm's gonna clear up. It's just down the street. Knock yourself out. Do they still air the exploding pie one? For some reason, I feel like that one... I could see them not airing it anymore. <laughs> have any... Wait, hold on. I have to know. Have any SpongeBob episodes, like, been dropped? Uh... Oh, right. Panty Raid is banned. Two SpongeBob episodes. One episode which centered on a virus storyline was never put on the schedule. Is that a new one? It must be a new one. Oh, the swearing one is great. Twenty-year-old band SpongeBob episode is back on streaming as of July last year. The Panty Raid episode. Well, either way, you guys, you got to get your DVDs. Got to get those DVDs. I feel like lately I'm seeing a lot of people talk about physical media. I'm quite enjoying this discussion. I would love a return. It's like right when Best Buy stopped doing it, uh, everybody, everybody sudden, suddenly talking about uh, when they stopped selling DVDs, everybody started Hello, talking about DVDs How are you again. Doing today? Welcome to WSCA. Unfortunately, we are preparing for a gala event. Everything is going wrong, and you are quite obviously not a repairman. So please come back tomorrow for a tour. Thank you. I'm not here for the tour. Well, what are you here for then? I'm very busy. Oh, I just want to check things out. Sorry, you're not allowed. Nobody gets past me without station business. And as I don't see you carrying any tools, you clearly don't mean business. <laughs> have a nice day. I have tools? I have a can? <laughs> right? Why would I want to put that there? I don't know, dude. The wonderful world of cans. Sounds exciting. Touched by an angelfish. Looks a little scary. Ooh, Operation Krabby Patty. That was my very first game. <sighs> Good times. Good times. He remembers his first game. Let's go into the control room. I think she'll just let us go. I mean, why not? Good luck getting in there. Some freaky wizard named Marlin came in here one day and cast a spell on it. No one can open it now. Mmm, strange. I do like how he said that. Strange. Tracy Bluth Rip, thank you very much for the 28 months. Pretty sure this isn't eligible for a hootie who. It sure is not. But thank you so much, Tracy. Yeah, he made it. I clicked on the ad. He, uh... He remarked about... Uh, it was an Operation Krabby Patty post poster. No? Hmm. No, 
no, no, no, no, no. I don't really know what, uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not sure what to do with the can either. It does kind of sound like Steam Alerts. Yeah, it, it makes me think Discord's going off or something. Hello again, lady. Oh boy, that was a good kelp bar. Look, I like to spend all day chatting, but I'm real busy. Hello. Oh boy. Okay, obviously, I gotta do something to unlock this other area on the map. And I gotta do do it with a can? As some, I gotta use the can somehow to unlock another, like... Barnacles, 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 barnacles. Oh. I can go behind the scenes. Slowly but surely. Ah, look at the little Patrick. He is busy showing the mermaid man who can drink more cola. Life can be so wonderful, no? Patrick, a drunk Patrick sounds kind of like a nightmare. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know. Uh, does this guy need a can, maybe? Hi. What you doing? Oh, hey there, little dude. I'm trying to fix this antenna. Uh, looks hard. Yeah. Well, you don't even know half of it. What makes this job really hard is that this antenna, it ain't even broken. Are those your tools? Is anything mine? I mean, what do you mean by mine? I don't own anything. Possessions just drag you down. Those tools are merely my temporary companions. I respect them, and they respect me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Then can I respectfully borrow them? <laughs> He's Jeez. fucking those know, tools. Kid. Thought ain't sitting too well with me right now. Maybe because I'm so parched. I tell you what. Bring me a Kelpsy, and you can borrow my tools for a few. How's that, little dude? Kerbacetic? Yum, yum. A Kelpsy, huh? Where can I get one of those? Try the Rusty Anchor. That's where I usually go after work. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, I gotta go. Okay. He's Later, gonna dude. make all the money now. He's gonna make all the money. Uh, the Tick Cartoon, thank you very much for the $2 and change. 2D2 for the Hootie Who, unfortunately not, but thank you so much, Tick Cartoon. And Tracy Bluth Rip, thank you so much for the $42.69. Bingo! <laughs> thank you very much, Tracy Bluth Rip. Corn dog. Thank you, thank you. What's the, what does the amount, what is the amount, I mean, 69's in there. Thank you, thank you so much, Tracy Bluth. Way, way too, much too generous. Forty-two. The meaning of the universe is forty-two. Oh, oh, right, right, right. That's uh, meaning of the universe is is forty-two is a reference to some movie. <laughs> Definitely, a movie of sorts. Uh. Book. Some book is what I meant to say. It's a reference to, like, a book. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. My, one of my favorite books and um, my favorite movies. And that's why 42 is uh, a favorite number of mine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tracy Blue. Uh, Aqua Reaper 3. Thank you for the $3 ch and change. 
It's fun knowing that you actually recognize the SpongeBob episodes and whatnot. I grew up with SpongeBob, and I love the early su early stuff so much. Yeah, I think I mentioned while we were playing this the other day that I I I've watched the original SpongeBob run so much that I I have problems watching it now. I've just, I've seen it too. It may be the only show I feel like I've seen too many times. Can you guys believe Spongebob debuted 42 years ago today? I can. The book is in fact an adaptation of a BBC radio show. Yeah, why are you telling me? It's my favorite movie and book, so obviously... <laughs> I've listened to The Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to the Galaxy BBC radio show hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. 42, everybody. Remember, 42. They're not looking great. Yeah, I was a small British child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hi, Mermaid Man. You don't look so good. That's what I said. Who did this to you? A great pink beast. Mm. Uh, yet eyes of fire and the belly of iron. <sighs> Sounds like someone I know. Well, part of it does anyway. Iron, I tell you. <laughs> iron. I hear you. Mommy, Daddy, I want my whoopee. <clears throat> I want my whoopee. Mermaid man, are you gonna be okay? There's a blurring sky turning yellow. Uh, that's just me. To the bathroom! Wow, he's in bad shape. I wonder who could have done this to him. I've gotta go, but don't worry. I'm gonna get help. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer too. Eh, yeah, just let him die. He's on his way out, you know? Just, uh... Barnacle Boy! It's me, SpongeBob SquarePants! Oh, it's you. Look, uh, we're a little busy here. Uh, Mermaid Man bit off a little more than he could chew. Again. What happened? Maybe I could help. Oh, yeah. I have every confidence in your ability to take a bad situation and make it even worse. How sweet of you to say. Thank you. Come on, I know I can help. He's fucking wasted, dude. All right, all right. It seems that Mermaid Man here can't hold his cola like he used to. Some yahoo challenged him to a cola drinking contest, and now he's got such bad gas he can't even stand up. Yeah. Where's your invisible boatmobile? Just right shit him. your shorts, I dude. Into it, but uh, seems I threw my back out dragging him this far. Maybe I can help you get Mermaid Man into the bookmobile. No offense, little guy. It's gonna take a lot more than our scrawny arms to get someone of his girth off the ground. Gotta go. I'll be back. You, what be what if you ran friend. him over in the I invisible water mobile? Would anybody be able to track it back to the boat? It's invisible. Okay. Happy to not listen to that the labored breathing anymore. It's not exactly a soothing sound. Uh, Mira Boo Doodles. Thank you for the 12 months. It's been a whole year. Holy moly. Hope this year is even better. Have a good one, Moose. Thank you so much, Mira. Hello, big guy. Hello, little guy. Is that a tattoo of a boat on his chin? Or is that his... I'm confused. Oh my god, the TV. Nice place you have here. It's real, uh, rustic. Yes, yum, I seem to have yum. a real knack for feng shui. Mm, well, I can't eat raw fish. It gives me a stomach ache. 
thanks anyway. Well, yeah, anyway, it's it's amazing how some old cast in there could really tie a place together. It's a good thing. Wait, SpongeBob's familiar with the practice of eating raw fish? I feel like that opens some questions. <laughs> and he knows that he he knows that he's allergic, so he's like tried it. One tall, frosty mug of kelpsy, please. Sorry, ain't got no kelpsy left. We all tapped out on account of a cola drinking contest these two guys had in here a little while ago. They polished off the whole kit. All we got left is diet, caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon twist. Dick. Well then, I guess that's gonna have to do. That'd be a dollar. You got a dollar? No, but I know where there's a whole treasure chest full of bus tokens. Sorry, kid. That don't fly in here. Pay up or pack up. That's our motto. I need a dollar. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me more about that cola drinking contest you had in here? Yeah, sure. They was playing Belcharama. The players each drink as much cola as they can. Then they see who can out-burp each other. The guy in here earlier was flat out the best burper I have ever seen. That mermaid fella didn't stand a chance. Wow. He was that good, huh? He was beautiful. I took a picture. It's up on the wall over by the bathroom. That guy's welcome in my place anytime, even if he is a little slow. And pink. Pink, huh? Mm hmm. Who could it be? Sir, my friend Mermaid Man is in the parking lot outside, and he could sure use your help getting into his boatmobile. He's not feeling well from drinking all that kelp. Yum. Ah, Yum. I better help him out. I don't want him scaring off my customers. Say, can you watch the bar for a few minutes? Sure, I'm a trained professional. Head cook at the Krusty Krab. Great. I'll be back. <laughs> Can I do? Will you give I me a dollar? I say that. Uh, since you helping me out, feel free to help yourself to as much of that diet cola as you like. It doesn't sell very well anyway. Stickler for a dollar, and then he's like, "Well, just yeah, you know, just take as much as you want." You know? I don't. I don't really give a shit. That keg is full of diet caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon to whisk. That keg is empty. Guess they used it for the burping contest. That right. keg is full. I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. Say, that looks just like Patrick. Plankton looks really big in this picture. Why is Plankton blinking? Plankton looks really big in this picture. It's alive! Looks like he has an eye infection. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That guy looks like Ralph. Keep on rolling, baby! Looks like good, clean fun. Do the kelp do. He looks dizzy. Do you have any trees? Do go fish, my favorite. Fight club. Looks like fun. Okay. That guy must have a brave dentist. So, I'm assuming this isn't gonna, like, he's gonna say no, right? This isn't what he wants. Mermaid Man died. Finally. Hexadeca. Thank you so much for the $2 and change. Hello, future Hexadeca. See you in the VOD reading Dune right now. Thank you so much, Hexadeca. And Jazzistica. Thank you for the 29 months. Windows Vista tic-tac-toe next. Fingers crossed. Vista tic-tac-toe. I do have Vista on this computer. I don't know... Were there any, like, Vista-specific games? Or was it all kind of, like, compatible with XP? <laughs> Halo 2? Here you go, mister. Thanks, little guy. Hey! What's this? I asked for a kelp seat. Oops! Sorry, I forgot. I'll be right back. 
All I wanted was a kelp seat. Fucking chill, dude. Whoa! This door seems to be locked. Oh, okay. See, I feel like using the can on the keg should have worked, if that's how this... Huh. Here you go, mister! One, the uh, Kelsey. All right! Whoa! That was the best Kelsey I ever had! Thanks, SpongeBob! Did we, like, pre-open it for him? Or? Sure, no problemo. Just remember to treat them with respect. After all, they're people too. Okay! I still don't like the dance. Whoa! I'm still, still not a huge fan of the dance. Save. Beard it up. Ayla Rosebuds, thank you for the $2 and change. I could listen to Mermaid Man's death rattle all day. Man, I sure wish... I sure wish I'd read that before he got off the screen. I would have... I would have tested that. I would have tested that statement. Okay. I have tools, so... Yeah, I would have. <laughs> 12 hour wheezing stream. Look at my tools. Right, with this toolbox, I might be able to pass as JoJo. Kalabunga, ma'am. I'm like totally finito with the antenna. Great, it's about time. Go settle up with Gary. He's upstairs in the newsroom. Cool. Later, dudette. Yeah, the Gary? Or is this a different Gary? Oh, it's Gary Gulper. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Wow. Aren't you Gary Gulper, the weatherman? Why, yes, I am. Aren't you lucky? Well, I mean, yeah, he does look like he'd be pretty great all. at gulping. Really? Really. In addition to the pleasure of meeting me, I happen to be in an autograph signing mood. Will your luck never end? Oh, I hope not. But, uh, I didn't want an autograph. I wanted to ask you something. What? No autograph? Oh, well... <laughs> You must already have several. What did you want to talk to me about? Oh, this is really what we're doing Can here? Can you tell me when this weather is going to clear up? I need to get out of this place as soon as possible. Wow, this really is your lucky day. Here at WSEA, we have just finished building a weather-controlling thingamajig. Once we unveil it, the weather will always be clear in rock bottom. Ooh. Indeed. Is this what... Think of the increased tourism. This isn't what and weathermen do. Do weathermen try to control the not weather? Not that I am not famous already, but then <laughs> you can it is? never be okay. too famous. I've never been a weatherman, so... I'm not sure I understand. If you built a device that controls the weather, well, then what does the station need you for? Well, uh, well, um, you see, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Why is there a guy out back working on the antenna? Ugh, oh, don't get me started. The Mega Screen 2000 has been acting up lately. It maps the weather around rock bottom with amazing accuracy. And yet, in the past few weeks, it's been giving us some very strange readings. It shows a zone of perfect weather that never changes. Never a drop of rain falls there. This is obviously impossible. It has to be broken. Are you sure it's broken? No. In fact, the repairman out there claims there's nothing wrong with any of our equipment. I really hate but his what mouth. what else could it be? 
Maybe it don't really like the mouth is a perfect weather zone. Please. No, really. Can you show me where it is? It's up on the Mega Screen 2000. Take a look. It won't do you any good. It's just a glitch. I'm gonna check it out anyway, but thanks. <laughs> you hit all of this. Yes, I hate his gulper. That's actually that's what I meant to say. Thank you, Weaselby. Cognetto! Thank you very much for the 19 months. I hope you're having a great day, Ian. And all you brutal people, too. Thank you so much, Cog. I'm having a pretty good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Do you know why the weather here has been so bad lately? I'm also well, tired. There are people who claim that a wizard named Marlin is... I gotta, like, get to bed early. We are all adults here. Tonight, I'm, uh... Well. I, what time am, is it? I gotta keep an eye on wizards. Time. I don't think so. Wow, a wizard? Why would he? Uh, what's my fan base name? Better. We don't have a fan if base name. Did, I, I reject. I, I reject any attempts at uh, controlling fan namification. No, see, these are all lies. Piss boys is close. <laughs> No, I don't like, I don't, I'm not a fan of the, the naming the fans thing. I, I find it odd. I find it strange. Gary. What a great name. I have a pet snail named Gary. How nice for you. I gotta go. It was nice meeting you. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, you guys oh. are the chat. Like, I mean, would you, I mean, imagine me getting on stream and just being like, what up, brutal crew? What up, the little, what up, my little mooses? Welcome to another stream. I'd feel kind of like an asshole. <laughs> Good luck. It's your boy, there. Ian. Uh, MJ Marlin is protesting. Came in here what one is day and cast a spell on it. No one can open it now. Mmm, strange. Strange. Yum, yum. MJ wants her bed, which is not where it normally is. So she's standing where all my shit is. And waiting. Also wants to go in the windowsill. Spoiled. Just spoiled rotten. The <laughs> divot in my headrest. Yeah. This used to be a like this kinda. It's um it's hers now. there ever be a second brutal muse vid maybe yeah yeah this used to be a normal uh but what do you what do you want i gave you your bed i gave you the window i gave you the world but i can't let you go over there you can go yeah you can go there <laughs> mj's blog post i would love it if she blogs again okay well can I move the bed now? Put my laptop back over here. All that effort wasted. Ayla Rosebuds, thank you for the two dollars and change. Don't be afraid of the little mooses, Ian. I wouldn't say afraid. Okay, what's our... What are we doing here? Look at SpongeBob standing there, waiting for you to guide him. So guide, guide, guide with all your might. Great hint. MJ, hey, hey. Stay out of the trash. I don't want to do that. 
<laughs> no, I clicked a hint. I clicked a, a hint button. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Hi, Plankton. What are you doing here? I'm trying <laughs> to film a commercial for the Chum Bucket. I rode all the way out to this hole in the wall, and these louts can't even find me a cameraman. MJ's in the fan mail. Ah, that's too bad. I'd offer to help out, but I don't know if Mr. Krabs would approve of me aiding the competition. You got sucked into Stardew and I have no idea what's happening? I've been playing the game and I have no idea what's happening. I'm filming a public service announcement. Kids stay in school and all that. It's for the children. Oh, for the children. Well, why didn't you say? Are you putting me on? Absolutely not. I'm trying to get the kiddies to see the value of a college education. It's my duty as a role model. And on top of that, I'll throw in a little extra something special for you too, my boy. Public service announcement. Little extra something special. Okay, mm. you got a deal. What do I have to do? It's easy. I just need you to go in the next room and find the camera controls. Then just point the camera at me and start recording. I'll do the rest. Sounds easy enough. Okay, Plankton, I'm on it. Anything for the children. Yes, the so, children. <laughs> what's more the deal tap. with the map? What was that? Uh, more tap. Yes, more tap. It's a lost art tap. Like, is the blue underwater you know, and the green, like, right. the land that they're near? If so, why are they so concerned with the weather patterns of what's happening on land with just, like, a few things in the ocean? So, Plankton, what do you think of Rock Bottom? Invertebrates! All of them! Can't stand the place, but at least there aren't many whales around. Oh, but I love whales! The way they glide gracefully through the water, leisurely gulping down millions of plankton. <laughs> yes, thank you. Gotta go, plankton. See you later. Uh, wait! Don't you want to see my diploma? I'll see you some other time, thanks. Bye! I actually, I am interested in seeing the, the, the diploma, I'll be honest. I was just asking about it earlier. There, the camera is focused right on him. Okay, Plankton, action! Hi, this is Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket and all-around swell guy. A lot of you may have noticed the Chum Bucket's rather numerous appearances on TV news programs recently. Not to mention the various headlines we've made in most local newspapers during the past few weeks. Well, I come Princess to you Liverpool. tonight to Shame. set things straight once and for all. I'm innocent! I would never dream of doing the things those bottom-feeding reporters accuse me of. Those pictures were clearly faked. Rest assured that the Chum Bucket uses only the freshest ingredients. That is all. Eat at the Chum Bucket. Thank you, and good evening. Did weirdly make me hungry. Pictures of what? It's Plankton's sexual scandal. Obviously. Hey, Plankton, that didn't sound like a public service announcement. Subtext! I was practically begging the children to stay in school! Well, if I didn't notice it, then probably most children won't either. <laughs> We've Who's all seen the video. That? Certainly not mine. I'm making public service announcements. Oh, and by the way, here's that little something extra. Mm. Uh, mm. Well, I must take my leave. I'd like to stick around and jam. Plankton's but porno. Oh, the day wears on, and the chum bucket needs me. Okay. Bye, Plankton. See you around. Bye, bye. Uh, well, how do I, where do I watch it? It's not even in my inventory. Is it like, did I unlock a... Oh, yeah, view movies. Hold on, let me save. Chapter 2 bonus movie. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Oh my god. Looks like they storyboarded with the models, maybe? I don't like seeing Plankton with a little head. I haven't even been here yet. Oh my god. Sound is grating. I like it. I like the I like the uh, film. Okay, um do a quick let's do a quick player pass we can keep playing i don't really care we can keep playing or we could uh hit barnyard or something we got some other games to check out doesn't really matter to me i'll do whatever i'm enjoying it but uh i i would enjoy other things as well more sponge Yeah, we definitely got to play Barnyard at some point. Like, we got to play, like, the whole thing of Barnyard at some point. Okay. Play a little bit more. I feel like we should check something else out, because it's not... Well, it could still be uh, leftovers. Is it really leftovers if we just play the SpongeBob game? Want to see Merlin? Oh, yeah. No, we're not going to get through all of Barnyard tonight. I don't think we're going to get through all of anything tonight. Uh, how long? Nearing two hours? This isn't going to be like... Uh, like The last two streams were six, almost seven hours. I will I will not be here that, <laughs> that long today. I need to... I know that how this is going to sound. I know this is going to sound shocking, but I need to rest a little bit. <laughs> I am... Uh... Yeah. That should explain how uh, tired I feel. Um, where are we going? I have to film tomorrow, so I can't. I can't. I can't start the day tomorrow and be like already exhausted. I have to like sit for uh, at least a little bit. You mean you're not a robot? I wish I was. <laughs> Good, the good news, I'm excited to get back to work on the video. I, I took a video break for a few days to to push... Aww. Sorry, I'm in the way. To push uh, Bingo out. Um, but all, all the stuff I went through and I looked through all the stuff I have so far, and I, I really am happy with how it's looking. It's just there's so much more to do. So much more to do. Yeah, Emmy. Okay. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay, so I have to find. I have to find Merlin. Rusty Anchor, maybe? See you, Rosie. Walk to customer boat. Oops! I hope no one Marlin, that. sorry, sorry. Marlin. Oops! I... Oops. Slide down. Okay, they on their way back to Shady Show. I hope Mermaid Man learned his lesson. Uh, say, thanks for watching the place. Thanks for the Diet Cola. Okay, th thanks for... Th 
Ooh, we can go in the restroom. I haven't been here. I wonder if I can clean any this toilets. Door seems to be locked. Nope. <laughs> More shoots and ladders. Maybe someday. MJ. MJ. Just looking for trouble. Um. I mean, who, who, who do you guys think I need to talk to? This guy again? Sorry, I took your can. No problem. I hate you. Sorry, I took your can. No problem. I hate you. Weather screen? Alright, I can do that. The game is spooky for, I mean, one of the same reasons why it's kind of cool, and it's that it, all the backgrounds are 2D rendered uh, and look just like the show. And then you've got these creepy-ass 3D models. Oh, I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. Get yeah. ice cream. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's the sound. I think it's mostly the 3D models on the 2D for me, but it's true there's also no no background music here. This was fun, but it did not progress the story. Yeah. Why is there a toaster on the map? Because it's going to be toasty over there. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Well, what do you want to do? Looking at some other screen. Yeah, let me check. There was a radar upstairs. Is that what we're looking for? Um. Yeah, Mega Screen 2000. I don't actually know what our, our current objective is. Uh, besides get to Neptune's Paradise. Oh, Ugh. look! The zone of perfect weather seems to be centered around this cave! Um... Gotta look for the weather, where, where the weather is good. Alright. SpongeBob's not... He was hurrying when I would double-click. He's kind of slowed down. <laughs> perfect like what's perfect weather For, okay because i mean wow the weather really is clear here something's up and i'm gonna find out what just clear i kind of like i kind of like some yeah some clouds or a little bit of light rain what would we do without signs like this i could use some rain right now actually Water me grass. Oh, well, I like, I like where this is headed. Man, that thing is huge! Wow, wow! I've always wanted to try one. Wow, wow! That's me when I see a slot machine. Wow, 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 Double tartar sauce! Okay, so we'll be here for the rest of the stream, probably. Uh, Boogie Elephant, thank you for the 33 months. 
I adore this new season. Shout out to my lovely wives. Thank you so much, uh, Boogie Elephant. Boogie Elephant. Oh, my! Wait, what? What? That is not... Hmm, those arrows must mean something, but what? I didn't even get a match. Remember right down left. I'm gonna forget uh, immediately. What did right down left? No, oh, it's dark and cold in here. <laughs> Thank you, Jen Cartridge. Slowly but surely. Wow! This looks like some kind of wizard lair. I bet that Marlin up those stairs. Hey! What's Patrick doing here? I was wondering where Patrick went. Patrick! Patrick! He's sleeping like a stone, as opposed to under a stone, which would be typical. There's no lamp on that nightstand. There's no lamp on that nightstand. Hmm. There sure is, there's there's a lot of things not on the nightstand, SpongeBob. There's no lamp on that nightstand. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I thought that was gonna be like a barrier. There's a toaster on the on the what's no. with the toaster? <laughs> I don't know if I liked or disliked that. <laughs> I can't really, can't really be certain currently. Hi, are you Marlin the Wizard? I don't know. Are you Marlin the Wizard? Huh? If I were, why would I ask you if you were Marlin? Because, my dear Marlin, it would be an excellent tactic to confuse me. Very clever, that. But I'm not Marlin! You are! Aha, so you are not Marlin. Well, I must admit, that does increase the odds of me being Marlin. What about that large pink boy sleeping in my hammock? Is he Marlin? No, that's my friend, Patrick. Which one of you guys are Marlin? Oh, if one of us must oh, is he be loud? Marlin, I guess it might as well be me. I can't say I'm too happy about it, though. Marlin's a grouch. Sorry if he's loud. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. Someone wants out. And everything over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling, Pinhead? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you don't like his floppy nose? That's not very nice. Why are you so grouchy? Why are you grouchy? Two words. Gary Gulper. That's odd. He seems like such a genuine guy. Don't let him fool you. He's the character behind that insidious. He looks like for some reason he's reminding me of something. What does controlling Does Marlin remind anybody else of a different character? Uh, sounds cool. No. Controlling the weather is my job, but those meddlers are in for a surprise. He looks like a Bob's Bob Burger character. Door to the device. Now they can't even get to it. That'll teach them. <laughs> do you have anything to do with all this bad weather around here? Absolutely. I still reign over the rain. 
At least for the time being. So what? Yeah, the eyes being far apart and looking kind of like puppety. Teach Gary Gulper a lesson. He's trying to steal my job. How? By building that weather controlling thingamajig. Controlling the weather is my domain. I'm not giving it up without a fight. But I need to get out of here. And the buses won't run until the weather clears up. Well, the weather won't clear up until that weather controlling device is destroyed. I like destruction, so that sounds fun. Maybe I can help you. Anything to get the weather back to normal here. Would you really help me? No, of course. No problem. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a magic wand that will let you into the oh, weather thanks. control vault in WSEA. You go in there and sabotage the machine, and then I'll clear the weather right up. Piece of cake. I'd go myself, but that secretary won't even let me in the lobby anymore. But how do I sabotage the machine? Something about you tells me you're pretty good at breaking things. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Great! So, where's the magic wand? Oh, here you go. Don't lose it. It's very valuable. Okay, thanks, Marlin! No, no, thank what, what you. What was that? You've saved gesture he just did. Line. So, so if I hadn't asked him for the magic wand, I would have just been wandering around the uh, the I bet news station. I noticed. Say, I like that slot machine you have out front. Yes. I find it functions well as a symbol of the risk and probability that we all deal with in our everyday lives. Using a Marlin? I'll try. Let me save first and then I will. That too. Marlin, I gotta go. I'll be back. I'll be here. Ba -ba -ba. If I hadn't played slots a few times. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. If I hadn't uh, insisted on playing the slots. <laughs> It, you, I could have just wandered around, wandered away. Um, oh, he's jumping to reach a, a book on the shelf. He was just doing that towards me. Okay, let's. No, wait, no. I don't want to. I don't want to give him the magic wand. <laughs> he could use his massive honker. It looks like it might not be firm enough to like get something off a shelf. Patrick! Patrick! Monkey Island wannabe? I still haven't, uh... I still haven't played Monkey any of the Monkey Islands. I'd really like to try, uh... I'd like to try the Space Quest games. I haven't played any of the, the really classic, like, point-and-click adventures. What's with all the toasters? They toast toast. Good luck getting through the puzzles without any hints. I mean, I if I did space quests, I would I would probably have a guide on hand just in case. And on top of that, I would probably hope that someone like in chat could provide some uh, assistance. Okay, I'm supposed to use the magic wand to break the weather machine. Yeah, I might do legal backseating for a space quest. Um. Or I could just, you know, I could just uh, follow the guide. I have returned. Alert the media. Oh, wait. I am the media. Why is there a guy? Ugh. Don't get it, man. Itch. I. No. Sleep. No. It's. I, I got. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Uh oh. Which. Ugh. I don't want to do um. that. Oh my god.
The Mega Screen 2000. Uh -oh. That must do something pretty neat. Ugh. Someone wants to play. Um. My cat, specifically. Um, okay. Are none of these the weather machine, then? Ugh. Or do I have to use it on the antenna, maybe? Uh. I don't want to... behind the reception huh. Is there hints or no hints? Uh Uh I mean if I'm if I'm asking for hints maybe. Uh, I I don't really care too much now. Don't don't like play the game for me. Give me time to like think about it, you know. Abracadabra, Alakazur. My name is SpongeBob. Now open that door. No, not spoiling. Someone just asked if I if they could wow, give hints. This must be the weather since I'm normally uh maybe if I just fiddle with the controls. Uh not in love with them. Let's let's do some fiddling. Okay, Patrick. Now be real careful. I can do it. I can do it. I'm winning. I'm winning. That's it, Patrick. I scored. I scored. Where did how did Patrick get here? We better get to the bus. Oh my god. <laughs> doot, doot. Um, how, oh. uh, well, that happened fast. That's it. I've had enough of these two. Wow. Oh my god, he's gonna he's I gonna drive it. Oh. I thought he was going to drive it <laughs> off a cliff. Yep, out of gas. <laughs> oh, no. There's a gas station down that way across from the diner. Oh, boy, I'm starving. Woohoo! <laughs> I didn't see any food over there. No, you moron. That way? That's funny. What? What? Oh! Oh! That was. That was a, a very confusing cutscene. That was a very confusing cutscene. <laughs> but hey, now we're here. <laughs> How many chapters are there? I do not know. It's confusing. So do I have a gas cap now? Was the, Did I check the... Did I look in the... The tank for a reason? Okay. Since we're on a new chapter, this could be a good stopping point. But I'll let you guys decide. Just know that if we keep playing this, it could be all we play today. Which, again, I'm, I'm fine with. Um, but if you'd like to see some other leftovers from the season, uh, we could, we could do, 
uh, barnyard. I was really hoping the Playmobil game would work. I'll, I'll have to keep fucking with the Playmobil game. We could do uh, Tinkerbell, You Can Fly, Toonland, Tetris Worlds. I mean, some of these I don't want to play again. Stuart Little 2. See ya, Tim. Was Pokemon Tur Team Turbo good? It was not. It was... It was bad. Zumbinis? Oh my god. Okay, let me make another pool. Uh, another poll. Uh... Uh, what's the title? The title of this SpongeBob game was Employee of the Month, I think. SpongeBob Employee of the Month. Zumbini. Hold on, I'm making I'm making a list. I'm not playing Toonland again. I save. Since we're at the start of a chapter, it should be pretty easy to to dive back into this when we want to again. It's not that I don't miss Howie, it's that there's nothing to do in the game. Like, you just go from screen to screen and get people singing at you. Uh, the Office. Everyone really liked The Office game. Dig Dug. Everyone was a huge Dig Dug fan. Okay. Here you go. Choose wisely. You want to live in this game. This one's okay. I need to figure out how to get the... Uh, The, the black to render because it's strangely transparent. <laughs> Barnyard. <laughs> you guys want to squirt. <laughs> Degenerates for squirting. <laughs> Indigo Fizz, if you if you were here last stream, or was it the stream before? La yeah, last stream when we played Barnyard, uh, you would know. It's actually a, it's actually a good game. The Barnyard game's actually a good game. Yes, yes, it is the male cow with uh, squirt udders. Yes. All right. We're going to the barnyard, and we're going to squirt on everybody. Just everybody. King Willard, thank you very much for the two months. Two. It sure, it sure has been two months. Thank you so much. Turn my volume up a little bit, like my monitor volume. I want to know who greenlit the series in the first place. What's crazy is this, it was the guy's uh, his own animation studio, Steve Odenkirk. That's his uh, last name. Steve Odenkirk. 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 The guy that made the, the thumb movies in Jimmy Neutron in Kung Pao. No. <laughs> not uh, not Better Call Saul. No, the Thumb Wars guy. Steve O. O. Dick. O. Dick Kirk. 
O E D E K E R K. Thumb like in Spy Kids. Uh, if you don't know the Thumb movies, I got I got uh, some Thumb movies from Blockbuster back in the day. I still have, I still have them. It's I think it's Thumb Wars and Thumb Tannic, and it's just it's a bunch of thumbs with like eyeballs and mouths. Uh, just search thumb thumb tannic. I'm sure it'll. It's better to see than uh, just uh, be described. Saw that at the thrift store once. Biggest regrets not buying it. It's definitely worth seeing. Just just to see. I think Kung Pao was is the best. Uh, my favorite of his. Uh, his work. Oh, he was born in Seattle. Okay. Going to the barnyard. Give me to play big rigs. What about, uh, what was that game we played? Mother Truckers? <laughs> Something like that. No, this is, yes, this is the male cow with the udder. I feel like I just said that. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm getting tired or if I'm going insane or if, like, both is happening at the same time. Yeah, big mother truckers. That's what I was, that's what I was thinking of. Your sound was muted. I guess it would become apparent very quickly when I start. Yeah, when, yeah, now. <laughs> This, it is this barnyard. And the reason everybody wants to play... Is, is because of this. So... Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. What's our what's our quest? Do we have any messages? How do I do Oh wait, I got to do Was this game designed for children? Honestly, it's 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 hard to tell even like the movie. Sometimes it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's very much like I'm not totally sure. It was on Nickelodeon, though, so... I'm in the barnyard. Can you join me? Uh, oh, over here. <laughs> Look at what? Root lost the eggs all over the yard. The What is Root lost the eggs all over the yard? I don't know what the fuck that means, lady. There are still 10 eggs missing and if we don't find them the raccoons will. Okay, there's missing eggs. Can you help me? Sure I can. Root is a person? Okay. Okay, that Oh, is this, is this Root? He looks a little fucked up. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to be looking for lost eggs? Yeah, this is my cow Sona. I got to design a cow Sona before, uh, before we started. There were a whole, like, three color options or so. Does everyone here have a cow Sona? Yes. Yes. Everyone everyone on the planet has a cow Sona, even if they're not willing to uh, acknowledge it. Lighting in this game is poor. I kind of like it. This one's got a day to night cycle too, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, here's an egg. 
egg. This does technically make you a furry, you know? Oh no. Where the fuck is that? Where's the fuck is the egg? Birthday cake. Oh, they're on the mini map? Oh, they are on the mini map. Thank you. I did not even notice. It does kind of look like GTA. <laughs> Oh, no. No, the graphics aren't bad for the time. Again, this is, uh... I watched, I watched my boyfriend play through, uh, like, this full game. <laughs> like, the whole thing. And it, it is surprisingly quality. Shockingly quality, honestly. Yeah, the graphics are pretty close to how the movie and TV show look. There's lots of quests, lots of different mini games. You unlock a huge map and you get to upgrade the barn with different stuff. Thank you. I should introduce myself. Well, hello there. I'm Hannah. Hey Hannah, I'm Ian. Nice to meet you and thanks again. I can rest easy. If you'd ever like to get some eggs for yourself, come to the chicken coop and press enter on the ramp. Feel free to take one egg per day. Thanks. Bye now. Why can't we get a Banjo-Kazooie game with at least this level of graphics? It's true, it's true. This game is way better than Banjo-Kazooie. I would rank this higher. On, on pretty much any list. No, she doesn't care if I eat her children. In fact, she encourages it. Banjo can't squirt. Maybe in the fourth game. No, I definitely want to play more Banjo-Kazooie. I, I enjoyed playing the one level we did a few, like a week or so ago. Looking good. Back at you, Otis. I can't believe you beat the pigs at Mud Jumpers. You could be a contender for Barnyard Champion. Tell me more. We're always playing games here in the barnyard, and we keep track of everyone's best results. Every time you get a record, you'll receive a letter grade. If you get a really high score you'll get a star. Uh, you can check your high scores on your scorecard. The animal with the most stars is the barnyard champion. That would be me. I might have guessed. Pip keeps the record, so or see him if you want to know how many stars everyone has. Watch out, Otis. You might lose that trophy real soon. We'll see. If you're going to beat my records, records, you'll need a bike. Finally. You can have my bike key. I don't ride anymore, not since Mrs. Beatty saw me. Press W to pedal, S to brake. I can figure it out. Yeah. Otis does kind of look sad. Alright, let's... Check out the bike. Oh, fart. Well, I needed to check my text messages anyway. I'm in the barnyard. Can you join me? I want to see you. I'm in the barnyard. Where are... Okay. I bet they're in the barnyard. Is this game of the year for me? So far. So far, yeah. What else have I played this year? Oh. 
this is like better Shinmu. Can we get a ban on Funky Space Alien real quick? <laughs> I need your help. I want you to check up on the three Jersey cows, Eddie, Ig, and Bud. They are meant to be watching the border down at Dank Weed Pond. A lot, a lot of my viewers live at uh, Dank Weed Pond, actually. If they've dozed off, put on your sunglasses and give them a squirt to wake them up. Ordinarily, I don't condone squirting other cows, but in their case, I'll make an exception. Consider it done, Ben. Shuri. <laughs> Can't ban this. You did the opposite. Uh, for VOD watchers, uh, my mod Shuri has pinned the message, this is like better Shenmo. Uh, which we all know is a lie. I, I love me a squirt at Dankweed Pond. <laughs> hey. hey, Pip, who's the barnyard champion? Here are the current standings. It's not me. Thanks, Pip. Later, dude. Does Barnyard the game have gambling? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so I gotta go squirt on some cows. I forget that there's there's a timer on these quests. You gotta actually you have to go do it. How do I? Yeah. There we go. I wish cows were real. I'm glad they're not. You know. Okay, where did they? Where did he say they would be? He said they would be uh, somewhere I could squirt. Like, look at how big this shit is. Veggie patch. I might be in the wrong area. Check the map. Um. Oh, yeah, I did go the wrong way. But, like, look at all the places you can unlock. This is like, I wish there were more licensed games with this depth. Like, I didn't really care about Barnyard before we started playing this game. And then I was like, Okay. Okay. We have been uh, authorized to squirt. a big idea. Ben told me I'd find a bunch of sleeping beauties here. Humph. We'll deal with you later. Nobody messes with the Jersey cows. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. Are they squirting? I think they're squirting back at me now. They are, yeah. <laughs> they 
right? I guess we just go back to the barnyard now. I think she's just bored. Just stop playing the squirting cows game. Give me attention. Ooh, look, the sun is setting. The point is valid. Cat hates closed doors. It's true. She doesn't, she just doesn't like having access. Yeah, she's the she's the one on top of my chair, yeah. Okay, well I squirted on those cows for you. Uh Yeah, it does have a day to night cycle. I'm telling you, it's weirdly impressive, this game. Um, and then once you start upgrading the barn at night, um, it becomes kind of like a club. You can go hang out, and I think you can unlock some mini games depending on what you buy. I should get another cat. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Who's that on the poster? Oh, wow. Chicken with large talons. Thank you for the six months. The milk squirting in this game is more explicit than it needs to be. I disagree. I think it's, it's perfectly explicit. <laughs> Ozzy Osmorn. <laughs> It looks like there's text under it. Like it's gotta be. He kind of he kind of got the the nightmare Squidward. What's the what's the the creepy Squidward? I don't know what he looks like. Yes, yeah, Suicide Squidward. Yeah, is that what he's called? <laughs> I didn't know that's what he was called. Are you hungry? Oh, uh, just asking. What's up now, pig? Well, seeing as you asked, I've run out of butter in the kitchen. Can you get me some? How do I get butter? The farmer leaves the milk cans inside the barn during the day. Press enter to fill a milk can with milk. Then you can press space to take the milk or press enter to shake it. Keep tapping enter until you get cream, but be quick or the milk will curdle. Once you have cream, you can either take the cream with space or churn it into butter by pressing enter. You can only use each milk can once per day, so can you get me some butter from the barn? I'll try. That was a little bit complicated. Are they just like eating the floor or oh they're asleep okay was that explicit enough for you guys or 
You've got cream. <laughs> All right, we got some butter. <laughs> See, we're going to have to play through this full thing eventually. I mean, can we really pass it up? I don't know. No problem, fresh from the cow. I'll say, lots of recipes use milk, cream, and butter. Remember, you can use each milk can in the barn once per day. Will do, pig. I think I'll go get a snack. Fifty gopher bucks. This is a leftover stream, anxious bean one. I think I need to see a doctor if I play this game longer than four hours at a time. We're just, we'll just do a marathon of it. Let's just, how, what's, how long does it take to beat this game? I, I'm actually interested. What's the, what's the how long to beat for this? I want to see you tonight in the barnyard. Yeah, pig's name is just pig. Six hours? That's a... Oh, yeah. 9.56 seems short, honestly. 9.5 according to the site. I'd believe that a bit more. Especially if we want to make sure we get all the stuff for the barn. There, Like I said, there's a surprising... There's a surprising amount of things to do. Um, you constantly... They're not on the map right now, but these stars, the mini games, you unlock a lot of these as you go. I think I'm good with Sharp's Quarter for now. Say. I agree. I'm glad you guys are liking it. I know it's like silly, but I think that's a, that's another point to it. It's silly and and funny and uh, weird, uh, but also actually kind of fun to play. Barnyard Fridays? What about Squirtin' Saturdays? Oh my god. Does it mean she liked or didn't like Squirtin' Saturdays? I'm not sure. Your <laughs> Squirtin' Saturdays are booked. Milkin' Mondays? <laughs> she wants in her bed. Yeah. She wants in her bed, but she's also standing where her bed goes. So it's a bit of a quandary. You get in the bed. There you go. Okay. MJ has settled in here. Right off camera. This webcam is actually command stripped to the wall because <laughs> uh, I'm a real professional. Can I back up? Okay, I need a quest. I need a. Uh... Uh, we finished playing Spongebob for the day, but we did not finish playing Spongebob. Honestly, uh, that one and this one would be good contenders for a uh, for full playthroughs at, at some point. Spongebob, like, halfway done. Oh, right. Sometimes quest I need to I need to make it night so I can meet in the barn or whatever. Honestly, really fun to use the bike. It handles very well.
Looked at this game and someone referred to it as GTA for kids. It kind of is. You can do wheelies with page up and page down. Let me try that. SpongeBob and Barnyard together. I feel like it'd be a lot to play through both, especially if this one is nine hours. Does game, game penalize you if you skip sleeping? I don't think so, but the time does pass on its own. It's just that there are things you can do at night that you can't do during the day and, and vice versa. You know, I've been wanting to meet you. My name is Rudd. Could not hear that at all. Business Could not hear that at all either. I hear you're a city cow. We are about to start opening the barn at night for everyone. How about going into partnership with me? Well, if that means lots of parties, then count me in. That's my cow. You can buy furniture, decorations, games, and equipment from the Gopher Underground Shop. They're open every night on Gopher Hill across the bridge. They'll deliver whatever you buy. Be sure to come on back and check it out. Here's 500 Gopher Bucks. Ask Joey the Gopher to open the shop for you, then go inside and buy a pool table. Can do. Excellent. Come back and see me when you're done. Dude, that is... I think that's a lot of money. I actually don't know how much shit costs, so I have no idea if that's... It's got to be enough for the pool table, right? Here's the Gopher Underground. Fine importers of human goods of all kinds. Step inside, my associate. Frankie will assist with all your needs. Mmm. Come by often. We're open all night. You seem like a useful sort of cow. I might have some work for you later. Don't be a stranger. Got a new shipment in. Is that Carl? Is that Carl Weezer's voice actor? It would make sense since the... Uh, the same guy that made this made Jimmy Neutron, so that would that would make sense. Don't be shy now. Okay, so you can get new bikes, which is cool. Free delivery. The mouse is Sheen. Oh, I'd believe that. Yeah, so this is all shit you can buy for free delivery. The barn. Uh, it's not six hundred eighty dollars. It's six hundred eighty gopher bucks. <laughs> booths, tables, booths, tables. You've got it. The Sheen spin up Planet Sheen. I think Planet Sheen might have been the last thing that this the animation studio did. Uh, o, o Entertainment, I think, is what it was called. Oh, maybe Animation. O Animation might have been their animation branch. I have no idea. It's not their best. I never watched it. Hi, I'm Paul. A show with just Sheen just sounds awful. Honestly, it just sounds like a terrible... It's too much Sheen. Ant Bully killed the student. Oh, they did Ant Bully? I had no idea. Oh, you are my main cow. This night barn is now open. 
pig is making mocktails. You can bring him ingredients just like in the kitchen. The gophers can sell you lots more items to put in the barn. If the joint gets popular, I'll have some special rewards for you. Such as... Such as this. Here you go. Have this gold rush token. Woohoo, I think. What does it do? Have you seen that special tree stump near the tractor shed? Nope. It's actually a gold rush machine. This token gives you one use of it. Press enter to insert your token and a trail of coins will appear. You have a limited amount of time to collect them all. Okay, Ian, I better get back to business. We'll set up the pool table downstairs. Duke wants to challenge you to a game. Okay, wait, I wanna, I wanna see, I wanna do the gold, gold rush first. It's not a slot machine, it's like a timed collect-a-thon deal. I gotta find stump by the tractor shed. Can you come to my night barn? No. No one's invited to my night barn. Okay, I'm going to wait for my sprint to get back. Yeah, Kung, Kung Pao is my favorite um, of his stuff. But, I mean, this is uh, it's pretty quality. Do I just get the four? I don't get the five sprints. Yeah, a little bit of platforming. Who's have we talked to Bill before? Everyone's welcome. Except for raccoons and coyotes. Yeah, we got a lot we got a lot of work to do. Go downstairs and see the pool table. You just said I'm not welcome? That's fine. Who's up for a game? I'm the number one pool playing dog in the state. Are we sure about that? No cow has ever beaten me at barn pool. There hasn't been a table. I just bought the table. Are you feeling lucky? Prepare to lose. MJ has gone to sleep. By the way. Oh my god, Brobot. Dude, I haven't thought about Jimmy Neutron in forever. I kind of want to watch the episode where they uh, he makes the candy that everybody likes a lot. That's that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Jimmy Neutron. Rack them up, boys. Yeah, the addicting candy, yeah. So what am I? Oh, I'm going for the yeah. I guess they're yellow. I wasn't sure which ones I was going for for a second. Oh, 
I love the weird shape of uh, this pool table. I've played a lot of pool mini games over the years. I've never played one shaped like this. Remember the episode where his dad made a woman give birth using the time reverser? I do not remember that. I do not remember that at all. I remember the candy episode. I remember... Remember he's got a dog named Goddard? <laughs> um... Rack him up, I knock him down. I remember the Jimmy. I remember the existence of the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. I can't say I remember the plot, other than that they. I'm assuming they change dimensions. Oh yeah, I remember the bird teacher. Hey, you rack them up, I knock them down. No chicken foot. I do not remember that at all. Uh. You could be a contender. Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Jimmy's dead did really... Man, I, I have forgotten a lot about... I feel like I watched Jimmy Neutron a lot back in the day. And I don't remember... I don't remember like anything about it. You can't teach this dog new tricks. What is is Hey Pops this thing work a quote? I have seen someone else say that. Do I remember the pizza monsters? No. No, I'm lost. I feel like I would need I would need screenshots to remember this shit. What about Carl's butt gets pregnant? I think I think everyone's lying to me now. I don't I don't believe <laughs> I don't believe you guys anymore. What'd you miss? We're talking about Jimmy Neutron. That was a real episode. Okay, well maybe I gotta watch. If you could have rewatched uh, Jimmy Neutron and see what the fuck was going on there. None of this is fake. And then, from the, the pants? Maybe I just need to look up like a list of episode descriptions. Evil pants. Evil pants sounds familiar. Is that the same episode where the butt gets pregnant? Are those things related or... I mean, parents better still be showing their kids this show. This, this seems like a very important show. Evil Pants was episode one. I'm sure, I'm sure, I, like, the memories, would, if I started watching it, I'd probably be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. It started as a movie, right? Didn't Jimmy Neutron the movie came first and then the show? Okay, okay. What was the what was the plot of the movie? What was the conflict of the movie? Egg aliens. Egg aliens steal parents. Egg aliens sound very I have a mental picture of the egg aliens, so I must remember those. Interesting. 
I guess that's the same thing that happened to Barnyard, huh? They did the movie and then it's it got uh, a show. I can't believe I lost. I did play the Jimmy Neutron game. I remember the Jimmy Neutron game uh, being pretty good. I have another Jimmy Neutron game. Yeah, they were both uh, Omation. Was that their was that their studio name? They were both o, uh, Omation. Barnyard series feels different from the movie. Is it like less? Like raunchy. <laughs> oh my god, Butt Ugly Martians. I remember the intro to Butt Ugly Martians. I can't say that I watched an episode. Nick offered them a show or movie, and the creator was like, let's do a movie so we get assets made for the show. That's actually that's pretty smart. Smart idea. The show is way more stupid. I've not seen the show. I've only seen the Barnyard movie. The barn looks good, Root. Looks good, and soon it's going to look even better. How would you like to be known as the number one party animal? Eh. You know I would. All right, then. Here's the deal. You keep on buying stuff from the gophers. Come and see me in the barn at night, and I'll tell you how to complete or, or how complete this barn is getting. For example, right now we are 2% complete. When we are at 100% complete, you'll be crowned the number one party animal. Sweet. I also promised you some rewards. Whenever you buy something an animal really likes, I'll have something special for you. Duke really, really digs the pool table. So, here's your reward. Milkweed. Uh, what's milkweed? It's a vine. Grows real fast. It's strong enough to climb. The gophers have dug holes all over the farm. You'll find one near water tank... The water tank in Dandelion Meadow. Press enter to plant your milkweed in a... <laughs> Press enter to plant your milkweed in a gopher hole. I mean, that's the only place I want to plant my milkweed. Then you have to squirt it with milk, obviously. Keep squirting it, and it will keep growing. When it's fully grown, it will flower. When that happens, you can climb it, just like a ladder. The pig here is listening to all this. The expression says it all. He's overhearing this conversation like, what the fuck? Keep buying stuff for the barn, and I'll have plenty more rewards for you, partner. Sounds good to me. Later, it looks like a bean. Got any gardening tips? Yeah, you just... Plant your milkweed in a gopher hole and squirt all over it till it grows. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Mind the steps. Okay. No, I I don't actually have any gardening gardening tips. I I have just planted some new grass in the backyard. I try I did the whole lawn last year and I would say like 50 40 to 50 percent of it died. So I'm trying again. I mean I'm starting from a better uh oh good idea. Starting from a better place than I was. But I'm not someone you should be taking gardening advice from just yet. Maybe maybe one one day. Save. Um I'm torn. I really feel like I should go rest. I'm enjoying playing this game and hanging out with you guys though. 
I should I should probably go. I should probably go. If I didn't have to film tomorrow, uh, I would stay longer. But I'm real tired, and I really just need to like chill. Uh, one last squirt. Yeah, this one's for you guys. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta put the. Meet me at the bridge. Uh, but Monday, we will start Lost. I'll try to do the fan mails. I know we didn't get to fan mail today. We were just having too much fun playing the the games. Oh, it even uh, turns the camera white. Everyone wants a taste of my special cream. Well, what else is new? <laughs> Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, thank you for joining me for uh, Bingo XP Season 1. A little more brief than I think anybody wanted, but that's just some. sometimes that's how the bingo's going to go. Next week, we will play through Lost, try to get through some fan mail. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do. I feel like we'll, we might have some extra time, so I'm not sure what we'll do with it. But the week after, um, I'm I'm hoping the Monday after we start a new bingo round. Uh, we're gonna stick just with XP for now um, because honestly, I I need to focus on video work and it's just easier for me to add games to the existing binder. So we're gonna stick with XP at least until the the video's done, and then um, after that we'll consider Pingo S two which I'm very eager for. But lots of bingo this year. The plan is that it will be an ongoing series that we can do pretty much uh, whenever, as long as we got the games for it. I still am, am heavily considering the analog pocket uh, for, like, some NES or SNES. Streams. What happened to Lost? We're we're starting it. Uh, we're starting it on Monday. We're starting on a Monday. We're still doing. We're still doing Lost. I just decided to do leftovers today, uh, since I didn't have a full. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I saved. Since I didn't have a full. Oh well. That probably asked me if I saved. I think I did. Um, what was I saying? Dude, my brain. It's like. <laughs> Uh, anyway, whatever I was saying, just like fill in the blanks, just complete the sentence, uh, on your own. It's like a fun, how did I get out of here? Um, it's like a fun choose your own sentence. Oh, lost. Yes. Lost on, on Monday. Lost on Monday. Thanks for joining me guys. Thanks for a fun week of streams. And I, uh, I hope to see you guys on Monday for some Lost. Even if you're not a Lost fan, come on out. Maybe uh, maybe it'll convince you to watch the show. I'll do my best to fill in the blanks uh, for anybody who doesn't know. <laughs> if, they, if they reference Lost things, I'll do what I can. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a good... Oh, hey, Lumpy. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Get some rest, all right? How do I get out of here? Night, everybody. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely... That's actually a really good point. Uh, Destiny makes a really good point. Now would actually... Oh, why is the camera so weird? Now would actually be a great time to uh, watch all of Lost. If you marathon all of Lost this weekend... I don't know if that's physically possible. You might need to, um, I mean, you not, might need to have multiple TVs at, at once going, but that's not a bad idea. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll see you. Uh, I will see you Monday. Bye-bye-bye. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.